I've been always a fan of adding things to my test setup that help me be more efficient while I work. If that's something somehow speeds up my workflow, it's something I would consider getting. More often than not, those things are just little gadgets that are not 100% essential, but make the experience of being on my desk so much better. This is the Megalodon Triple Knob Micro Pad, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why this guy might be a great pick for you. But first, what is a Micro Pad in the first place? If you have not heard of them before, think of a Micro Pad like a mini keyboard that you normally just wouldn't use for regular typing, but rather computer shortcuts. Whether that is taking a screenshot, opening your task manager, opening the program, etc. A Micro Pad essentially helps you do all of this in less clicks or keystrokes. But what makes this particular Micro Pad so great? First, it comes pre-assembled, just as you see it here, with gator on yellow switches and blank XDA keycaps. It has three knobs or rotary encoders, and there's a lot that you can do with these, aside from just changing the volume or scrolling up or down. I'm going to give you a few examples in a bit of how I personally use them. It has VIA support, which is a software that essentially lets you map pretty much any macro or combination of keys in existence to this little device. VIA can look a little bit daunting at first, but it's rather easy to use once you learn it. I think that you will spend more time figuring out which macros you want to use than learning how to use the software itself. It also has four layers, which you can set depending on the shortcuts you want to have. This allows you to assign different macros or key combinations to each layer. Like you can have a layer for different applications, for example. Now, let me give you a few examples of how I use mine. So you can have a general idea of what you can do with this. My first layer is pretty much a numpad. I have it set for quick calculation or whenever I'm working on spreadsheets. The second layer are my typical Windows shortcuts that I use often, like copy and paste, taking a screenshot, undo, redo, putting my computer to sleep, etc. My third layer is easily my most useful one, and I use it with DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos. I simply mirrored my most used shortcuts in DaVinci to each of the keys and knobs. For example, I have one to cut under my playhead, one for deleting selected clips or space between clips, undo and redo as well. The main knob, I use it to scrub the timeline frame by frame, which is super useful when cutting clips. And the two knobs at the top are used to scroll left or right in the timeline or zoom in and out of the timeline. And let me tell you, I'm not using all of the keys for each layer and I'm not even using the fourth layer at all. So you can imagine how capable this little device can be for mapping your shortcuts if you have a use for all of the options that this can give you. So can this little device make you more productive? I would say yes. If you're willing to get yourself to try something new, learn VIA and take your time to configure your shortcuts to your liking, a MicroPad can save you the tiny hassle of having to take your hand off the mouse on occasion if you need to reach out for a specific shortcut in your keyboard or even remembering the specific key combination to trigger that shortcut in the first place. You can get this model for $75, like I said before, from Drop, before shipping in taxes. If you are already into mechanical keyboards, I think it's worth a try. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.